imagine that? That was pretty clinical. Yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty special. Uh, I think the way they played just it makes you proud as a coach. Um, I think everyone can sit back, regardless of the score, and appreciate. You know, for fellows who come together 10 days ago to be able to do that under pressure. So I think, uh, yeah, really, just a real great performance. Freddie, you're back by uh, almost 1,000 metres and 100 carries between the five of them. That's been impressive. They're good ones, I'm sure. <laughs> They're good stats. Not bad, not bad. They were awesome. They were awesome. And, you know, we. Obviously, we broke down their middle a lot because their middle had to contain Teddy, all our forwards, plus um, Tommy and Latrell. Like they're all coming through, and um, so they did a really good job. Brian Tyre, you know, first game, seriously, he was outstanding. Brady on Tommy, what was his, what was the role? What was he just given free reign to do what he wanted, basically? No, there's always there's stuff he has to do for the team, um, and. But I think once we start to get on top, you can just see that we're finishing our sets well and we're putting them under pressure with where they're getting the ball back. And that just brings that sort of play. Um, you know, allows you to allows players to do that, to roam a little bit. and So he just took advantage. Is it as a coach, it's an ideal situation to have a guy like that who can just know when to insert himself and do it the way he does? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And that's the biggest thing. We talk about stuff you've got to do for the team and... He's just a really good decision maker at the time, at the moment. He's, you know, he's doing it for Manly, obviously. And I think there's a few of them doing that. Well, there's a, a few blokes out there all in sync. Fred, you were part of the 56 16 win in 2000 as captain, I think. Is this, does this include that? I mean, obviously, score wise, it does, but in terms of the comprehensive. Uh, this is game one. Yeah. So I think that one was game three. Yeah. So it's a big difference. You know, we've, yeah. had a, we've had a convincing win in. Every year, so we're well aware that nothing's been achieved as yet. Pretty sure you can't lose a series if they play like that again. You can't lose it. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Freddie, um, Is that a question or a statement? <laughs> a statement. If they play like that again, do you think you can lose a series? Well, we'll see. That. Freddie, that cut for Nate. How, how, how bad is is that? Is, is it an issue for him? I don't know. Like the next couple of weeks. You see. To plan, so it should be sweet. That was pretty frustrating because it cost us two interchanges. They faced a fair few hurdles. I know it was a big scoreline, but it was 9 1, nine one against us in the six agains, and mm. Nathan got ruled to go off um, with the blood. So that cost you two interchanges. It was a lot they had to, to climb over. Is that Nathan's best game for the Blues? It's hard to say. Well, you'd know more than me because you know, I think the other blokes stood out so much. Game two last year, we made the match as well, so he's been playing pretty good the last two years. Teddy, what was it like out there? You were inside and what it felt like? Um, yeah, just felt confident, I think. Uh, as I said, we had a few things go against us, a lot of six agains on the back foot, um, but there was no panic. You know, a lot of guys in their first game, and um, yeah, we all just stayed together. We all just went after the challenge and just felt comfortable the whole game, so felt really good. Freddie, did you sense a performance like that from Luttrell? Oh, he's been good, without a doubt. And I think his last game when they played Parramatta, he was good. So, like I said, I think when everyone works together, every, like I think everyone pretty much stood out. Though Tarek Sims was outstanding. There's a few players there that were sort of missing most really along the way that had huge impacts on the game. So, But um, yeah, Latrell's run early in the game where he went up the sideline, that was a big... That was a big moment of the game, and then his tackle where he came in as well. A couple of huge plays. Given what Latrell's been through in his rep career, is it great to see him produce that sort of performance out there in the blue jersey? Yeah, absolutely. I think mean, everyone agrees it's great to see him. You know, he's just he's a good player. You know, he does some great things on the field, so it was awesome to have him out there. There was a complaint about how Nathan and Jerome would be able to take what they do at Penrith to origin level, just Jerome's performance on debut didn't look like anything phased him. No, I didn't say that way. Um, but there's still two weeks to go, so a lot, a lot can happen in two weeks. So, um, you know, I wish all the players the best. Freddie, to come up here and win, like you're here today, like it, it, it felt pretty wild. Like just that crowd factors they're all feeling, and there was almost no Blues fans here. To, mm. to, 
put on a performance like that up here when you've got to win at least one of the two to keep it alive, that, that must be very satisfying. Yeah, it is. Yeah, without a doubt. But we haven't won at Suncorp for three years now. So uh, that's the challenge. You know, this is sort of, you know, obviously it's over now. So the challenge of Suncorp, we haven't won there. So there's a really big goal in front of us. How do you handle that expectation, Freddie? Go well, they've got to go back to their... You know, everyone goes back now and gets back into the club for a while. And they were just hopefully keep improving. You know, when we come back to get on, gather and they'll come back in. And, um, <coughs> should be in a pretty good headspace, given what happened tonight. And we've got to get better. How much, do you, how much better do you expect Queensland to be in Game 2? Well, it's up to them, really. Psychologically, what does it do to a team to, to lose like that? Oh, they're going to be hurting. Uh, I think it's going to be a different team game too. They're going to be another. Um, you know, like last year, we lost game one and came out firing game two, so I'm sure it'll, it'll be similar. And it's going to be at Suncorp as well, which is always a tough task. So it's going to be a challenge when that was a convincing win, but yeah, as Freddie said, we still going to win. It's going to win two more. Pretty, but back in mind, do you think that's the perfect couple of years ago? Because you guys smashed them over in Perth, had all the momentum going to game three, and they took you right to the wire. So it's not as if it hasn't been done before. They can, they can bounce back really quickly. Excuse me. Like I was saying, we've won a game every year, sort of quite convincing. So, and if you go through those other games, we won one with 12 players at the back end of the half, at the back end of the game, and the other one, Teddy scored on the bell. So, um, I'm quite aware that winning a game by 50 here in the first game doesn't mean anything. Brad, what did you make of the uh, Cameron Monsters kick on Liam Martin? Oh, I didn't say it, mate. No, that's for someone else to worry about. I think everyone, I don't, I don't know if anyone got injured tonight. In Christian Walsh, maybe. Um, that's a good thing. Good to see 13 on 13. Yeah, although, you know, although the outside of the ref did a really good job, uh, he was under a lot of pressure. Um, from the point of view of everything that everyone's been talking about. So, you know, I've got to applaud that. I thought bo both teams did a really good job of not putting that much pressure on him. Hey, Drone looks like he's been here. Drone looks like he's been in this arena all his life, doesn't he? Yeah, he's cocky, mate. <laughs> <laughs>